my mother was an as is an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I kind of thought as long as I never drank that I was okay. I could mm-hmm. do every other drug and that wouldn't make me my mother. So, you know, I dabbled into the pills and, you know, um, all that good stuff. And I ended up going finally to rehab and my sister too, because we were living together. We were like the first sister group that had ever gone to this rehab. But it was like, you know, we live together. And if we both don't get sober, then we can't, it, there's no point in me coming by myself. Right. It's hard. It's so hard when you get stuck into that cycle, you know, and, and, and waking up every morning and thinking like, today's the day I'm going to stop. And like mm-hmm. having that conversation with yourself every day and yeah. like not being able to get out of it. It's just yeah. like, it's the, it's like the darkest place that you can be. You can just feel so alone. Yeah. Very alone. And, uh, I ended up going three times. <laughs> That's all right. I went twice and then I went to sober. I went to rehab twice, sober living twice. So like, yeah, yeah. I feel you, girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm a repeat customer myself. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like the only person that can get addicted to going to rehab. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, it is like, a, you know, the one place that you get to go that you only focus on yourself and you don't have all these external yeah. outside influences, people like trying to get your attention and like work and all that stuff. And and then, you know, once you're, I mean, once you take away the alcohol and the drugs and you're left with just yourself, then yeah. you're like, wow, this is where the work really begins. Well, and it was an all woman's, you know, facility. So I'd never, it kind of felt like a family to me. It was like totally. something I had never experienced. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's like the power of, um, you know, these sobriety support groups is, is, is that, it's, it's addiction just it makes you isolate. It makes you feel so incredibly alone. And, mm-hmm. and I don't know about you, but I know like when I was, you know, like in my heaviest drinking periods, I, mm-hmm. I really felt like there was nobody else out there that drank the way I did, yeah. that nobody else was like, you know, and it was the shame and the self-loathing and the mm-hmm. self-hatred was just overwhelming. Yeah. And so going to rehab, when I learned about what alcoholism was and I learned about, um, the way that our brains work, it was like such kind of a relief. I was like, this is what's wrong with me. Cause for the longest time I couldn't figure out what's wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Right. Cause it's like on the surface I had everything, you yeah. know, I had family, I did like a great career and all this stuff, but I kept just throwing it away mm-hmm. and like, and I just couldn't comp and I wanted to stop. Right. And I yeah. always thought it was a willpower thing. Mm-hmm. It was like, well, I really wanted it more than anything, but I couldn't do it. It was just baffling and it's just something that's like impossible to explain to people who haven't been through it yeah it's for me it was like every other drug I quit like cold turkey never Mm -hmm. went back but with the alcohol it was just like I just couldn't yeah I I, I just couldn't kick it and yeah you know oh I hear you hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.